Uh, we will try to uh, go back to Jamil, who I understand uh, is uh, now available to, to to move with his question. Jamil? Thank you. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Yes, fantastic. Thank you, Tarek. Dr. Chedra's uh, question on Brazil, uh, with over a thousand deaths in the last two days, how do, what do you make of the situation in Brazil and whether you're negotiating any kind of assistance um, directly from WHO to Brazil? Thank you. Oh, Brazil. Sorry, I missed the country. Sorry, I heard the question. <laughs> so many, so many countries. Uh, yeah, the situation in, in, in Brazil right now, we have, uh, I think, approaching 300,000 cases. I think just over 290,000 cases of confirmed uh, disease in Brazil with uh, 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 nearly 19,000 uh, deaths. <clears throat> the majority of the cases are from the Sao Paulo region. Um, but also uh, uh, Rio de Janeiro, Piara, Amazonas, and <clears throat> uh, Pernambuco are affected. But in terms of attack rates, the highest attack rates are actually in Amazonas, uh, about 490 persons infected per 100,000 population, which is quite a high attack rate. Um, in terms of the response, our, our, our colleagues in PAHO are providing direct assistance uh, to the government, to many of the states in um, in, uh, that are badly affected, including uh, Amazonas. Uh, the, uh, in, in a sense, uh, many, South America has become a new epicenter for the disease. Uh, we've seen many South American countries with uh, uh, increasing numbers of cases, um, and, uh, and, and clearly there's a concern <clears throat> across many of those countries, but certainly the most affected is uh, Brazil at this point. Um, we also note that uh, uh, the government of Brazil has uh, approved uh, the use of hydroxychloroquine uh, for, for broader use, but we do point to the fact that uh, our current <clears throat> clinical and systematic reviews carried out by the Pan American Health Organization and the current cl clinical evidence does not support the widespread use of uh, hydroxychloroquine for the treatment of uh, COVID-19, <clears throat> not until uh, the trials uh, are completed and we have clear results. I think I'd also like to point out uh, something that Mike touched upon is the um, disproportionate risk that we see of vulnerable populations um, for COVID-19. Um, we're seeing this across a large number of countries. Um, all countries have vulnerable populations, um, and we are seeing a greater impact in terms of disease, uh, disease severity, um, poor outcomes in, in groups uh, that are vulnerable. Um, and a lot of this has to do with underlying conditions in these groups, access to care. Um, it highlights the inequalities that we see in vulnerable groups. Um, and, and I want to highlight that this, this, there are vulnerable groups in every country. Um, and so we need to work even harder to ensure that all people have access to um, health care, um, that we, all people have access to testing, to information, um, and so that we could prevent as many severe infections and, and deaths as possible.